so we're in the desert, and we we're in are the tent. indeed in the desert. I can confirm. And it's and it's raining outside our tent. I just why is it raining? I just wanted to go outside and play with my weird seven foot tall freaky lizard lady friends. But now I have to stay inside, and it makes me real sad. And my face is sad, and I'm crying inside. And it feels like I'm raining on the inside, and that's how you get pneumonia and die. <laughs> I, just, I don't. Uh, why the hell is it raining in the desert? It's known to occur occasionally. <gasps> Once. It scared the shit out of everybody. Mm. We thought it was God's judgment for our sinful ways. It's a, uh, it's raining frogs, but only in semen form. Oh God, that that. Why is it strange. raining frog semen? Oh God, that was one of the most disturbing things in the world when they used to call oh. hornswoggles frogs or frog splash the tadpole splash. I have what. Yeah, Hornswoggle used to use a, a bottom a bottom turnbuckle frog splash. Oh. And they would call it, the, they call it the tadpole splash because he's a midget. And that just takes on a whole different connotation. Because so, ma- so many people are like, what is a Hornswoggle and why should I care? And it's just like, <laughs> It's a I'm horrible sorry. little leprechaun, let me tell you what. It's a cheating little bastard that hides under the ring and it is in your life. I think, you know, the real Hornswoggle... Are the suicidal thoughts we had along the way? No, it's just that fucking midget. <laughs> uh, I lo- what, what's his name? What's the name of the guy who wrote um, "I Have No Mouth But I'm a Scream"? Harlan, Harlan fucking Ellis. Ellison. He had a great bit about just like little person wrote me and said, "I'm offended that you used the word midget." And he's like, "I'm five foot six. I'm a little person. You're a fucking midget." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a hero! Yeah. Fucking Harlan Ellison. He's got. You can find him on YouTube. Actually, he had this um, segment he on the original you know, Sci-Fi I've, channel. I notice he doesn't update his YouTube channel anymore. What happened? He's kind of uploaded his consciousness into a <laughs> human hate and a homicidal supercomputer. Mm, you think okay. it was any? You think it was any coincidence? He provided the voice of Am in the video game version of "I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream." No, that's just how he lives now. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's rainy out. We might as well read a fucking horror story. You know, before we do that, I did speak with Harlan Ellison's ghost once while on a spirit quest. And uh, it's really tragic and heartbreaking. He told me, you know, he told me he looked me in the eyes and he said, you know, when you're dead, nobody can hurt you anymore. But the tragedy is, you can't hurt anybody anymore. <laughs> and I felt that shit. Oh, God. It you just, know that, I feel the pain right now because after that last story, you know what we need to do is ju- just kill everyone, then no one can get killed anymore, except for six people keeping my Forehead. torture for a while. <laughs> uh, so we'll be reading the rain, written. Wh- who's this written by? Uh, DMX. It appeared on his uh, album Grand Champion. It was the closing track. Mm, okay. So Got this I'm, rain, rain on my dogs in the doghouse, getting rained on. You know, X was waiting for you to get it on your own. He really was. He was patient. But, yeah, he just got. But now he's going to deliver to you. Yeah, no, he will give it. He to will. You. Why did FedEx never use that song? Dude, that'd be great. Yeah, X gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. He just got the fucking if, FedEx van kicking it down the street. And if you, anyone can hear my ice cubes. uh... We just had a portable... We had a cooler. Yeah, for some reason, um, you know, even out in the middle of the fucking desert, DPS bottle service. I may have killed and eaten the uh, the bartender. (laughs) Who's to Uh, say? The the horse bartender? Yeah, two horse costume bartender. It was the other person in the horse costume. Had a full minibar with him. It's raining outside. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. I really hate the rain in this town. That's all it ever does, is rain. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, yeah. I didn't get the full story based in. I don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I was too arrogant in my hubris. And now I have to go back to the creepy past the fandom. And I have no fucking <laughs> filter. Okay. Wait. Hold on. This is completely different now. No way. What? Did I... What the fuck? This is where we start pitching down the ambience. Oh okay. wait, it's no, two different fine. two different links. One's creepypasta.com, the rain, and then there's a creepypasta fandom wiki, the rain. 
Yeah, the the rain at the uh, the um. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Screw it. Leave it in. I looked over to my right at the nightstand beside my bed. The clock read three forty a.m. This always seems to happen. It rains so hard outside that the droplets eventually navigate themselves right through my ear canal and into my brain when they whisper their dirty, dirty rain thoughts. Oh, or I navigate through, through the crack in the roof right above my bed. I need either or. I think this person's just trying to make excuses for the why they wet the bed. Yeah, it was the rain, I swear! I didn't get pee pee scared. <laughs> pee pee scared? <laughs> I'm, uh, not a, I'm not a big tinkle diaper baby. Drip, drop, drip. Each droplet forming a steady rhythm as it hits the section of my head. A bed. I drag my leg over the side of the bed, slowly lowering myself onto the cream carpet flooring. As I hop off my bed, the cage on the other side of the room begins to rustle, and a little head pokes itself out from the tiny bars, squeaking and all. It was no. horn swaddle. Nolly, my pet ferret, is dancing around in her cage at the sight of me being awake. I walk over to the giant black cage she sleeps in and stares at her and stare at her with my half awake smile. It smiles back, looking at its hand mischievously before it hits me with a tadpole splash, and I'm not talking about its back with finishing maneuver. No, Nolly, it's not playtime now. Yes, she replies. You're normal, Brady. I have better things to my. I better have things my way. Attitude, fuck ferrets. They know how they smell. Where do they get off? Drip, Ferret smells. Drip, drip. I walk back over to my bed. I reach into my nightstand dresser and pull out a huge dill roll of <laughs> huge roll of prints. dildos. <laughs> oh, huge roll of dildos. <laughs> this is my. This is my bug out kit. <laughs> Checkered print, white and black duct tape. Exam- no. <laughs> Examining the pink dildo sheets on my bed, <laughs> I determine where the water is getting in through my roof. I jump out of my bed and unroll a section of dildos. <laughs> I jump out of my bed, unroll a section of dildos, and off I go on another rainy day adventure. Just my dildos and me. Waking, <laughs> waking up in the morning, Griffin. Best part Brush my teeth with some dildos. His dildos in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> We've just completely derailed the story. Uh, my apologies to the author for being such a dildo. Mm. Yeah. I jump into the bed and roll a section of tape and rip it off. <laughs> Carefully, I place the ripped off piece into the tripping hole. <laughs> then threw the duct tape roll on the floor. Huh? I thought to myself, why are my bedroom window blinds open? I thought I closed those before I fell asleep. Blowing off my dildo, I kneeled down on my bed and closed the black blinds. It's so can't stop mentally putting the word dildo in the story now. You're a bad influence. I was normally so pure. Mm. <laughs> I was only interested in drugs, not the kind of pleasures. Well, look, if it's any consolation from here on out, I don't think that there's anything that you can construe as a dildo. Okay? Yeah, you underestimate me, sir. All right. I want to catch a glimpse of how hard it actually was raining outside. It's roughly three inches of water off the ground. Not surprising in this town, really. The street outside was curved in. I lived in a cul-de-sac. I could barely see the house out across the street through the darkness and rain. Just then, my stomach let out a growl of anger. (laughs) The cul-de-sac. How I describe what God did to my hair. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, the weeds have grown up, but it's still a nice neighborhood. Mm. All right, now I sounds like you're not happy about this. Oh no, no, I'm perfectly fine being struck down in my twenties with the curse of baldness being punished for my hubris and robbed of my flowing rock star mane. I mean, if if I've it's any console, if it's any consolation, uh, there are hot chicks with shaved heads. I mean, men aren't, but there are hot chicks. Yeah, just find a bald chick and you'll be fine. I don't know if that's how that works. That's how that works. It's fine. Oh, thank God! You can go hit on every bald chick I see. Five God! Minutes, five minutes later at the cancer ward. <laughs> 
God, I need food if I'm ever going to be able to get back to sleep. <laughs> I walked out of my uh, bedroom door, not caring if it slowly creaked open and made noise. I lived alone, so why should the noise me- level matter? Why would you even need to mention the noise level? Hashtag noise levels matter. <laughs> Um, I began to walk down the long hallway leading to my living room, and eventually I found my way into the kitchen. Walking into the doorway, nothing is happening in the store. No, Absolutely not at all. nothing. It's raining and a ferret stunk. <laughs> you know, I notice my ferret stinks <laughs> more when it rains. I reached in, uh, into my right and... My ferret I stinks reached, more, I, reached, I mistook it for a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. this, I, I, I need to start watching. I need to start watching this dildo. It's getting really furry <laughs> <laughs> and bitey. <laughs> uh, I re- that's that's the sign. That's the that's the sign that you're high. If your dildo starts biting your anus, <laughs> I reach in, uh, to my right and flip the light switch on. From where I was standing, you could see two windows: the one on the right, uh, clinging to the wall, right over the kitchen sink and the one to the left right in front of me being the back deck's glass door. What the fuck? Like I, I'm really disturbed by them describing the window as clinging to the wall <laughs> as if it doesn't belong yeah. there. It's some sort of horrible monster pretending to be a window at this point. <laughs> I just want birds to fly into me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, window. Yeah, okay. With the, nothing is happening. We got a lovely description of the walk through this person's house if I ever wanted to rob them for drug money. Mm. Yeah, this person is just detailing their four plans. <laughs> Please don't rob me. <laughs> I'm, I'm really expecting at any point to be like, the author to be like, and then there was this window over to the, you know what, never mind, I'm just going to take a picture of the blueprints of yeah. my house and upload them so you know the exact geography of where everything is. <laughs> It'll be so much easier than actually trying to describe the setting at this point. <laughs> Looking above me, I was a bit startled. I forgot I had a skylight in my kitchen! Which makes sense because it never really stands out in the room. Okay, <laughs> just really fixated on the fucking windows here. <laughs> <laughs> our, our our author is just an architect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you saw the antique balustrades that clung to the sides of the window, oh, you would weep with it. All right. The only way to, way to really notice it is if you're standing right under it. The, or if light is coming through. I don't understand why you're telling me this. What are you trying to communicate? I have, yeah, the, this is... This story has an estimated reading time of five minutes. And, and we, uh, we've just fucking gone off the deep end. Just questioning these fucking choices. Well, I have, at least. It, it's such a... It, it is a very... It's it's interesting to see people's eccentricities and how they they are poor authors. And, like, I, there, there are things that I notice about myself where uh, I have this weird thing where I'll make... But, like, I'm not good with time progression. I don't know how to work paragraphs, and so time gets weird in my stories. Yeah, and this person time can't, is a like... Time circle. Haven't you ever seen a clock? <laughs> and this this author can't, like, leave any Any window aspect. undescribed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, they just have Asperger's syndrome, and, the only, and they're just obsessed with windows. How but could no. you downvote my story? Didn't you read about the windows? Like, look, if you're if you're not into window description, you're not going to want to read this book, all right? Maybe they just have a defenestration fetish. <laughs> oh, I want to be thrown through that window. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it, who's that at the window? Is that Stone Cold Steve Austin? <laughs> oh, no, get away, get away! <gasps> you got a lot of windows here. What? A lot of panes. What? I'ma bring the pain. What? Pass me a Steve Weiser. Get it, get out of here, Steve. <laughs> Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, raindrops were hitting the glass panes of the window. White. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not notice the sound before? The sound of rain on my many beautiful windows. <laughs> Shrugging to myself, I went up over to my left and opened my pantry. 
Nothing inside of it, except for windows. (laughs) 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 Just big old cupboards full of windows. Nothing inside of it really seemed to catch my eye, due to the fact that all the food required a lot of time to cook before the sand turned into glass. They could be properly fitted into a window pane. Letting out a heavy sun, I turned back I turned back to the light switch and flipped the lights off. Fuck you! Oh god. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve nothing. Austin peeks through the window again and smiles. <laughs> Finding nothing of interest to eat in here, I went down my hallway, made entirely of windows, and made myself made my way to the green room. Yes, I live in a fun house. <laughs> in the in the glass atrium, I started foraging for food in my garden. I turned on I turned on my computer. I was comforted to see the Windows 10 logo appear. This is an ad- <laughs> 10 is an adequate number of windows. <laughs> I went to my bathroom, which had five windows. <laughs> and a mirror, which is like a window into your own soul. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they have a toilet made of glass. <laughs> oh, um, the rain only got harder <laughs> as I made my way down the hall. And back to my bedroom. Lightning and thunder had started up as I turned off my bedroom lights and sulked back over to my bed. Defeated by the lack of a of quick and easy food I have. What? I pulled my bright pink Hello Kitty dildo covered yeah, over my neck. My Hello Kitty windows. <laughs> Only to hear an angry rebuttal from my stomach. I turn to my left and look at the clock beside bedside clock. Uh, Four twelve a.m. Did it really take me that? Lo- did it really take me that long to go and check what I had in my pantry, or had I really gotten that distracted by all of my many many windows? <laughs> my many many beautiful windows full of antique stained glass. Jesus Christ! I must have lis- uh, listened to the rain longer than I thought. I closed my eyes and rolled over onto my right side. Giving up, like again, this is this is this author's way of being bad, and we all have our own ways, and it's like a thing where you need to become conscious of it. This person can't leave anything undescribed. Like you could just say, "Rolled over onto my side," and like, yeah, but it's like it needs to be the right side, specifically my weirdly, right side. It's weirdly distracting. Yes, like I wouldn't notice it until we until we called attention to it, and now I see it everywhere in the story. Uh, it's like I have up. a window into this author's life. <laughs> <laughs> giving up on uh, any thoughts of eating. The entire room was quiet except for the assault the rain was making on my roof. Ban assault rain! Ban assault rain. Does he, okay, here's what assault rain is. Uh, the, the cloud begins to uh, precipitate, and then many raindrops come in. Fully automatic raindrops. Yeah, fully automatic raindrops. You just hold down the cloud and, and constant. It just rains. Uh, I wasn't ready for what? I wasn't ready for what? For what? what? I was about. Stone Cold! <laughs> Stone Cold was outside my window, but I was on the second floor. If you want, if you want to get some sleep, give me a hell yeah! <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> what? And then he just stuns the person in their bed. Oh my god, we have it right now. We got the Black Fist, White Fist moment, because we mentioned DMX earlier. DMX, Stone Cold Steve Austin, clasped in the fucking middle. Love of saying what? Uh, and then you just, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't ready for what? For what? What I was about to see when I opened my eyes. It was Stone Cold! <laughs> Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Driving a beer truck right through my house! <laughs> <laughs> No, you you just have uh, you know, when you think about it when they open their eyes, it was kind of like lifting the 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 shades on a window because the eyes yeah, are the, the window to the soul. The oh my goodness, that's fucking deep. Mm-hmm. That's fucking deep. Uh, I froze. Cold sweat. Wait, what are what are windows made of? Glass. What is glass made of? Sand. It all comes, comes back. It's. Yeah. 
you know, and and uh, where is where are the windows in this house? To the walls. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. Oh my god, this is true. The show. sand gets everywhere. everywhere. Fucking Anakin was right. Hashtag Shit. Anakin was right. Kill the younglings. Yeah. We Sith lords now. We was Sith lords and shit. Only Sith deal in glass windows. <laughs> <clears throat> Only Sith deal absolutely fucking windows everywhere on every fucking surface of your fucking house. Windows. All that I see imprisoning me. Absolute atrium. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glass catastrophe. All right. I froze. Cold sweat spread across my entire body. My eyes were looking directly outside the window in front of me. They were everywhere. Only to see an entity staring back. I used the word entity because it was King Goldie and that was the title of his first album. And there was no way this thing was human. Oh my god, it is King Gordy. Skin was <laughs> pitch black and had various stitches across its face. Where its eyes were supposed to be, there were two vertical windows. Two vertical gray stitches. The hole was right in the middle of its face, so tiny, so minute. Most likely, this thing's nose. Its mouth was non-existent. Only skin as black as the deepest depths of the ocean was there. Despite the fact this thing had no eyes to stare with, I could feel the trope of faceless eye, eyeless faces staring at me. I could feel its gaze digging into my face. Its head was so close to my bedroom window that the breath from its nose was fogging up my glass. My beautiful glass! I'll never get it clean! <laughs> <laughs> this person just has a diary and they open it up and it's just like, Today, I uh, went down to my, uh, to my left cabinet... <laughs> Uh, for all my cleaning supplies, and I got out one of my five bottles of, that they I got keep the right, on deck. The right of, hand bottle of Windex. Of Windex. <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, j- that, that's what their day consists of, is just cleaning glass. And there I lay, my gaze locked with the monster in front of me for what seemed like forever. I couldn't hear the rain anymore. I could only focus on its face, and it, it's steadily breathing against the window. I didn't uh, snap out of it until Nolly began to hiss violently. Its head jerked back and uh, looked at her. Ah, but back in which direction? <laughs> yeah, that's important. This, this is where we know the fear is kicking in. That he's not describing. <laughs> they're not describing where everything. The is. exact direction that their neck went. Their head snapped at a four, thirty-seven back degree into angle. Back to the left. Back into the left. Back. Back <laughs> into the left. Uh, she was clawing at the uh, cage bars, uh, begging to be let out. I turned my head back around, facing the window, and the creature was gone. No fog, no stitched eyes, nothing. Oh, thank God nothing found up my beautiful, beautiful windows. Nolly never stopped hissing, but nonetheless, I closed my windows blinds and laid back in the dark. My hands reached around beside me in the dark for earplugs. The ones I use for those nights when Nolly gets too hyper and decides to cause an earthquake in the cage. Uh, what was, uh, what was that thing just a trick my sleep-deprived mind played on me? I couldn't stop thinking about its face in my mind, the stitches, the never-ending darkness of its skin, the constant sound of its breathing against my window. I can't sleep like this. I got um, my stitched face dildo. <laughs> It's it. That's a that's a weird way to describe it. Uh, I can't ending. sleep like this. Too the many end- monsters. But like the never-ending darkness of its skin. That's a weird thing to say. Yeah, like. that's pretty racist. Yeah, really. Yeah, seriously. Um, you know, we live in woke times. All right. It took some time before I could get over my inherent white privilege and my mind calmed down and decided that I came with at least one ethnic minority living in the neighborhood <laughs> staring at my beautiful, beautiful windows. <clears throat> decided that I'm crazy and that desperately needed sleep. I decided to roll over onto my right side. There, here we go. Now normalcy is coming back. They're mm. calmed down. We know exactly where they are in their bed. Eyes closed again when I opened them. My blinds weren't the only thing that were open this time. My window was completely open! The window was no longer clinging to the wall. <laughs> no, it ran away. It was scared of the fucking monster. The 
Iron Salad Wong Fist kind of fucking bullshit. I can hear my window proclaim as it scurried off into the night for less monster-filled environments. I stared wide-eyed at the <laughs> house across the street in the darkness. They didn't have uh, nearly as many windows as I. That thing wasn't there, staring at me. Taking the chance, I shot up in my bed and closed my way. It's like, no, wait. No, it's like that. Mo- the, that's the end of the horror story right there. Yeah. Is the monster just stole the window and I was devastated. <laughs> the monster wasn't there. I decided I was perfectly fine. <sighs> Making sure it was locked. Still looking across the street, I noticed my neighbor who lived in the house across the street was looking at me through his window now. <laughs> his window was also stolen. <laughs> His face was twisted into some sort of horrific expression. It was and Jim Ross. It. <laughs> oh, that's mean. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. I feel bad for that one. <laughs> yes, hey, he's stone you, cold. Stone cold. Hey, if you're a stroke victim, go fuck yourself. Yeah, seriously. He's not bragging about it. All Some of us can use a stroke right about now, too. Uh, then I felt it. Steady, deep breaths on the nape of my neck. <laughs> I never heard it come into my room. And then, so how'd you write all of this? Yeah. Oh, the monster literally stood over me and demanded that I write this entire account, followed by this brief depiction, well, brief description of uh, how I was able to write this in case the reader was able to ask. And then it killed me. Uh, So this was written by Aurora Tainted. Yeah. I like Aurora Tainted Glass Windows. So, uh, not not really impressed them. The, there was like nothing special or too interesting about the monster. But the windows, however, fucking squeeze. I, I will give this ten out of ten <laughs> in terms of window description. Yeah, I'll give this a Windows ten out of ten. Hmm. Uh, I would say that an adequate number of windows. An adequate number of windows. Uh, it's. I rate this ten windows out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. just just going through this, um, going through the comments here. Uh, first comment is an undescribed guest. Can I do a reading of this on YouTube? I enjoy mm-hmm. the story a lot. Mm-hmm. Another defenestration fetishist. <laughs> uh, I hate to say this, but ferrets do not squeak or hiss. They make duke noises, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Ferris has dropped dukes. They don't brag about it. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of the crippling thing of this story. Yeah, every like a, exquisite description of a window. They really they, don't they know they shit just... about ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, just ferret culture, ferret yeah. history. Yeah, they just kind of fucking appropriate in that ferret life. Well, to be fair, this uh, I I struggle to figure <laughs> out. Uh, the, the, like this, it's just me. It, the story meandered a lot. Really didn't focus, which seems to be like the theme of most um, most stories from Creepypasta dot com or the Creepypasta Wikia. I just want my life back. <laughs> and, this, oh. and I woke up and I said, "This isn't my wonderful glass house." <laughs> you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack with all your many windows. <laughs> <laughs> You may find yourself in a four-door sedan with beautiful windows. Really nice. A few things I was unsure of, but overall nice past. Oh, I see. It gave me a chill down my spine. 8.5 out of 10. May even eat it again. Oh, I hate it when people, like, refer to creepypasta in terms of food. Yes. It's especially mean in this fucking story, because never had any food, just windows. Yeah. It's like I went to the cabinet. I couldn't find any food that would be quick to cook. So I just grabbed a bottle of Windex and went back to bed. <laughs> just chucked some Windex. Good for my windows, good for me. <laughs> good. That's that's the slogan for Windex. Good for my windows, good for me. Drink some Windex, then I'll pee. Blue. Boo, boo. Oh, so that was, that was a fun little story. Uh, was it... No. No. Let's be honest here. To, to be honest, no, it no. really wasn't. We're being far too kind. <laughs> no, we, we had a good time reading it. That's for damn sure. Yeah, it's true. 
It was full of thrills, chills, special cameo by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was pretty you. nice. Uh, you know, I got, pretty... to, got to make myself feel bad by referring to Jim Ross as Bell Palsy. <laughs> oh yeah, he has Bell Palsy, not a stroke, right? That's well, it's from a stroke. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, the Bell's Palsy is a side effect from his deviant lifestyle of uh, stroke victim. <laughs> my, my tax dollars have to pay for this shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> why? Why do we? Uh... Why do we in the too spooky community make it a note to insult <laughs> and stroke my handicapped and cripple so consistently? Yeah. <laughs> you need to be going back uh, to just mocking these uh, weak, weak stomach fucking cereal vomiters. Yeah, yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense. There's only, <laughs> there's only one good vomit related creepypasta story, and that was the YouTube comment I left on the video somewhere at one point, uh, puking in reverse. If you can find it, uh, enjoy. <laughs> Nine tenths uh, a true story, I might add. <laughs> uh, and puking is nine tenths of the law. That's true. Depending on where you live. Yeah, you should probably ask so what, Disney so, about that. Yeah. So where, 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 what is it like be living in an area with like a bunch of open carry? Because I'm sure people where I live would like freak out, even though it's. Um, a, it's. Uh, I love it, honestly. I don't really feel all that worried about much of anything. Because, again, if somebody tried to pull a gun in some violent act, they would be put down so fucking fast from any number of different angles. It's, um... It's a matter of, uh, like, rural pride, honestly. You know, we don't fucking put up with shit. And, um, like I said, we have a very low fucking crime rate because of it. I'm not going to go all political on it, you know? But, you know, do the math. No, I'm not, I'm not going to get political, but uh, thou shall not. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck Beto O'Rourke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, th- I think, uh, I don't think he's anything to be worried about. <laughs> What if he jumps up on my fucking table and starts yelling at me? That's why he wants to confiscate my fucking gun. No, I think uh, I think I think we're fine. I don't, I don't think uh, anyone is taking better works seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the, he's the Jeb Bush of Democrats this year. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race, O'Rourke. Don't worry. You'll get there in time. And there's literally no one else left to vote for. <laughs> I just, I just want to like watch Jeb Bush and Beto O'Rourke play tennis together. <laughs> <laughs> just staring Who would at win? each other. I don't think they'd ever serve. <laughs> well, yeah, neither of them have ever served. Yeah, Correct. No, I just, I just think they would stare at each other the whole time. I don't have a I don't know. comedy bit for this. I'm kind of out of politics these days. Just leave me yeah. alone. Please. No. I just want to but, consume uh, illegal hallucinogens and shoot guns. What's so wrong about that? Uh, the fact that those things could potentially be crimes if we make them crimes. Yeah, considering the fact I live next to an elementary school. It's like, sir, you understand that murdering that child was wrong, right? Like, do you have a guilty conscience about that? It's like, well, anything's a crime if you make it a crime, okay? Yeah. Like, if you make it illegal, then it's a crime. I don't know why I need to feel bad about murdering that child. Yeah, yeah seriously. Um, if anything, I believe I'm doing them a favor. They can start over fresh and learn from the fucking mistakes they made. Wow, that went dark. Yeah, no, man, it just went dark. It's just, hey, yeah. don't... Like, like you, you shouldn't be killing that horse. Why? Like, that horse that horse isn't 18 yet yeah. Relax, I'm sorry I want fresh two people in a horse costume I want fresh horse meat <laughs> how do you calculate the age of a horse like do you have to like take both people and then take their age add it up you have to take the people two? out of the costume cut them open and count the reins mm. what would you prefer would you prefer to be the fart giver or the fart inhaler oh god um, <laughs> you know what? It's 2019, half and half. That's the that's the horror movie right there. The furry <laughs> version of uh, of human centipede, horse centipede. Yeah. <laughs> horse just a bunch of no, it's just a bunch of horses with their that are just sewn together. 
That's my fucking nightmare. Being part of a horse centipede? Just horses. I don't want to see them around. Okay. Goddamn horses, go back to Europe. We don't want you here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. Goddamn Native Americans taking all the horses. We don't want you horses here. You're an invasive species. <laughs> Return to your own country. To your damn country of origin. That's right. I saw one of those Arabic Palomino's. Horses belong in a zoo. <laughs> one of those Arabic Palominos down at the mosque. Goddamn Shetland ponies. Don't want you. Go back home. Go back to Shetland, wherever the fuck that is. Go roam the Isles of Ireland. (laughs) We don't want you here. We ain't got no fog. You don't belong. (laughs) 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 I love love this character. (laughs) Cowboy who hates horses. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm just saying it's 2019 why are we still measuring cars power in horses hmm. not in my America I drive Chevy <laughs> I don't like those Fords I don't know why they gotta have a horse on the look <laughs> <laughs> ain't that America come and check it and see ain't that America blessed and horse free <laughs> We can do it. You vote me into power. I promise I will murder every horse in America. With my bare hands. We need to build a wall to keep all the horses out. (laughs) Got to deport all the horses. (laughs) It's like, what about ladders? Horses can't climb over ladders. (laughs) Unless they are some kind of horse people. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about Ann Coulter. (laughs) Ann Coulter, you're out. Sarah Jessica Parker, get the you're stamping. <laughs> get the stomp of them hoofs right back over to your. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you stomp your hoof on the three on the ground three fucking times? That's how long you have before I start shooting. <laughs> I will break every horse's legs. <laughs> Clever hands, too smart. Put him down. He's a threat. Some people are comparing glue factories to concentration camps, and I think the comparison is... <laughs> I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, this is what happens when you're out in the desert in a fucking rainstorm and you can't find any fucking hallucinogens. <laughs> you just ran about horse Zionism. <laughs> <laughs> How do you how do you feel about zebras? They're all right. I, I, as long as they integrate, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, did goddamn horses eating up all the hay? <laughs> Leave some of the hay for us, okay? When was the last time you had hay for dinner? That's right, you haven't. Never, all the goddamn, goddamn horses. horses. <laughs> The f- got these goddamn cartoons got My Little Pony kids watching it they're thinking that that's normal Bojack Horseman you think that's what America's children need to be seeing goddamn so. horse media horse controlled media <laughs> horses control the world's media CNN more like HNN <laughs> horse news network more like how much of this are we going to <laughs> leave in that's all of it. All of, this. All of it. <laughs> oh boy, oh, God, we're don't we're, even get me started on them first. <laughs> oh God, we are just gonna be savaged by fucking pro horse cancel culture. <laughs> Listen, if you're pro horse, unsubscribe. Yeah. We don't uh, want you. <laughs> Tired tired of having all these pro horse people in my show up in my comments hey nice scary story but also i like horses yeah get the fuck out of my comments fucking deviant you sick fuck i gotta delete a hundred comments a day (laughs) commenting about horses you know i don't want none of this horse stuff you know what 
Worst part about it is, they're all pro-communist. I mean, look at with the goddamn Trotsky. Where do you think mm-hmm. that came from? Mm-hmm. How's it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Won't you? It's all part of the horse theory. <laughs> Horseshoe theory on both on both sides of the political spectrum. They're both bought out by big horse, <laughs> big, big old horse. Have you seen it? <laughs> Tired of all these crazy, crazy, <laughs> crazy horse. <laughs> <laughs> crazy horse and his crazy horses. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. God. <laughs> Uh, oh fuck! Yeah, we're done. It's over. <laughs> I think. I think. Let me, yeah, tell you, let me ask you this: Bible. How does the world end? Four horse men. There you go. There you go. That's it right there. Horse men <laughs> says it right there in Revelations. Revelations. Okay. Horsemen. Not even horses. Goddamn horses! <clears throat> getting taking all of our women's virginities away. I'm sick and tired of these goddamn Clydesdales parading their humongous penises around and making me feel like less of a man. Oh, God. (laughs) How long have we been talking about horses? (laughs) Not as long as we were the author was going on about their windows. Oh, you're right. (laughs) You're not wrong. I'm not. God help me, I'm not. <laughs> Welcome to the Horse Windows Podcast. <laughs> nothing but horses, nothing but windows, and nothing about how much we hate them all. Your window into the horse, <laughs> horse into community. the giant horse. The deviant community. horse community. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some people are saying that a horse nation state is a good idea. I agree. Let's segregate all the horses into one place. We don't need them. And don't get me started on the sea mammals either. Sea horses. So we take all the sea horses, put them in a boat, send it back to their home country, and sink it halfway. See how they like that. All these horses farting up all the methane, causing the global warming. We don't need it. No, no, bad for the planet. You know what's good for the planet? Horse burgers. Delicious. Horse tacos. <laughs> Ask Taco Bell what you do with a horse. Really, what we need to do is just make a Slim Jim factory. <laughs> just uh, glue all the Slim Jims together with the horses. <laughs> that's never been explained to me. How, 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 like, that, that is, that's got to be an interesting process. Yes, we take the horses, put them into the horse grinder, and we get glue. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> entire horses. <laughs> 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 yeah, Elmer Glue Elmer Glue stocks have plummeted due to the president's plan to eradicate horses. <laughs> horses and their sympathizers are not welcome here. Listen, we're kind of like running into a problem here. Like you're not thinking of the ramifications. We don't have any adhesives anymore. We can't make anything. Children no longer have glue sticks. Okay, is that the They're American starving to death them? without their glue sticks. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> that. Uh, can't fix their glitter to their wonderful little art projects. Hey, if you're listening to this, why are you still listening to yeah, this? Yeah, well, <laughs> Hey, if we're still recording this, why are we still recording this? I think there wasn't a uh, bit we were in a desert. It was rain and... It's still it's still raining. You just you know you just got. I've been yelling, be yelling so much I can't tell it. You know, at the end of the day, aren't the real friends we made along the way the people who will help us take over and get rid of all the horses? That's true. I hereby, Brandon Plattrick, Pat Plattrick, 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 pledge my vote to whichever candidate uh, vo- uh, will. Will sign an executive order oh, to eradicate I, I, all the horses. I hate to break it to you. I don't know if you checked the news feed, but um, Cowboy Who Hates Horses just had to turn in his campaign. He was caught in the middle of the horse. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah. 
It's not mostly normal. He was, he was, oh, I'm seeing it now. He's, he was in a three-way with Sarah Jessica Parker and Ann Coulter. <laughs> That's Ann Coulter. I was imagining the scene from fucking Godfather. He wakes up with a horse's head in his bed, but it's just getting head from a horse. <laughs> I've heard of putting a, head, a horse head in the bed, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, keep licking my sugar cubes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, nay? Do it, bitch. <laughs> mm. Oh, is there me, me too for horse porn? You know, it makes sense, though. No. Because he... he no, 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 it does. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. He kept saying, hey. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what horses eat. Yeah. Galaxy brain moment right there. <laughs> Just do the galaxy brain meme, but instead of it being humans, they're all horses. <laughs> Just psychotropic horses. Don't even joke oh. about that. That's liable to be what I see the next time I go in. <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of multicolored horses phasing in and out of reality. Don't do this drug. Horses on the other side. <laughs> horses. Yeah. horses all the way down. You know the, the creepypasta hands? Yes. But instead it's just hooves. <laughs> On a window! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see them. Little hooves. Little pony hooves. <laughs> they keep... They keep clopping against the window. Oh, no. I tried to hold them out all night. They're going to make their way in. I can't hold them back forever. Uh. <coughs> rain. Want to read another story about rain? Oh, God dare. This is just going to be the endurance run at this point. <laughs> this is a short one. It's <laughs> Yeah, the other one had a read time of five fucking minutes. <laughs> Well, I think we just kind of got lost in the brilliance of the windows. I'm just hating horses. Uh. <laughs> no, again, here's the thing, right? It's happened on more than one occasion just to tie this back into living in a small, rural fucking desert town. I can't count the number of times I've been woken up, right? Hearing something moving around in my yard. And we got a small population of wild horses. It's, well, some are domesticated. The uh, owners couldn't take care of them anymore, just turn them loose. And I remember one night, right? Got all these undocumented <laughs> horses. Undocumented horses. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I hear something moving around in my yard. And this was like maybe a week or two after I had the chase of fucking meth junkie uh, two blocks down the street while balls fucking naked wearing nothing but a pair of boots. That story doesn't matter. This is the real headline, though. That's also a true story. Um, I am uh, just wake up out of a dead, dead sleep. Uh, I already chased you out of here once. Don't make me come out there and kick your ass. So I try to go back to sleep, and I hear it something, just, something stomping around in my yard again, right? And there's like maybe five feet of separation from the fence around my house to the uh, outer yard around where my garage is. I open up my fucking window, and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and there's a fucking horse staring in at me. I was not pleased. <laughs> Goddamn horses always causing these problems. Uh, Peeping Hans oh, there. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. Horse problems. Yeah. Right? Hashtag horse problems. Yeah. Hashtag yes all horses. Yes all horses. Yeah. Hey. Have you ever seen a horse that pays taxes? Not even once. You know, many Listen, ho- you know I've seen a lot of horses down in the unemployment lines. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, that's a farm. I don't know. None of them are employed. <laughs> yep. Prove me wrong. What, what are we getting out of these horses, huh? You know, we got these valuable cows. They give us milk. milk I, ain't never had, I ain't never had no horse milk. <laughs> Uh, got these cow eggs, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that the, the got these horse eggs taste delicious. Yeah, just, just marvelous. All right, <laughs> one more Weird fucking story. We've just we pushed the horse thing as far as we fucking can. We've really put the cart before the horse on this one. God damn, did we get a lot of mileage out of it? 
You can you can take a horse to rain windows, but you can't make it. Let's read the next story. Yeah, let's just let's just abandon that one. All right, where's the next story? Uh, did, oh, did you get it? No. Uh, wait, did I get it? No. It's a. Uh, it's from the fandom. Oh, it's the one I was looking at before. Yeah, it's like hella short. <laughs> All right, let me open this. Um, uh, we're just doing this on the same fucking track here. It's gonna be fucking disgusting. Okay, that just opened the fucking picture. You're you're still recording, right? Yeah, I haven't stopped yet. It's on the same okay, track. Okay, good. Yeah, you're all like of all of this minutes. all of this has been documented. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> all right, May twenty sixth. It hasn't rained in three months. Old town's worried. We need rain in a little rural town like this. The crops are busy. That is a really short diary entry. Yeah. Yeah, crops, reservoir, rain. Uh, June 7th. Marlene cries at night. The girls are worried, too. I started going to church. <laughs> no rain in the church. Attending church almost every day. Yep, God will save us. June 28th. Please, God, let it rain. July 1st. No rain. July 4th. We couldn't light off fireworks. Everything's too dry. What? <laughs> That's the perfect time. Wait, no, I guess they're saying, like, it's if anything... fire conditions. Yeah, it could, yeah, it could yeah. be dangerous. That makes sense. Okay. I uh, got out... Come on, you're a, a goddamn pyromaniac. You know the best conditions for a burn. You're, you're right. I, got, I, I just didn't see them thinking of it as a bad thing, you see. Yeah. Fire is normal. Fire is normal. I got out of uh, Latin, I got out a Latin Bible uh, uh, and read from it. Still no rain. The Bible got fire. <laughs> <laughs> so the Latin Bible. That's like the super powered Bible. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Protestantism isn't doing it for us. We got to convert to Catholicism. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a more heavy-duty Christianity. Man, why did Martin Luther ever nail his feces to the door of the church? This is where the power lies. July 24th. No rain. Four months now. Are we cursed? August 6th. No rain. Still haven't given up on prayer. Tired of thoughts and prayers. We need... (laughs) Need need action. Need action. Responsible horse control now. Uh, other gods exist, do they not? Other gods, the heathen, exist, do they not? Not, not if you're part of a monotheistic religion. Um, the heathen <coughs> devils are tricky, but they uh, may be able to help us. Um, you know what? This is actually starting to grab me because it's kind of starting to read like a diary log entry that you might find from somebody living in fucking Innsmouth. You know. You know Again, when it's Obed a, Marsh comes back with his fucking heathen South Pacific gods. You know, it's actually kind of grabbing me right at the same point. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'll, t- I'll say this, though. The diary entries are too short, and I think that this story just has like a... I, I haven't seen where it's going yet, but it has a very simple concept. So I think they're like trying to like run through the story. I think the diary entries could stand to be like a paragraph each uh, instead of like but you know a few what? short sentences. You know what? I, I will say this in the story's defense, okay? The guy strikes me as a rural... Again, it's a rural fucking town. Hick Farmer, probably not too big on words. Ooh. Mm. You know, direct to the point, it's utilitarian writing. I would, you know, but then why write them so I would make them just a little bit longer? Yeah, I can see that, too. I, I would like for these thoughts to breathe a little bit, you know? They kind of, they kind of each uh, entry kind of reads like a tweet. Yeah, August 18th. Rain dance all night. No rain. I need strong to uh, August 25th. I killed a calf. Call for rain. Storm clouds are uh, storm clouds on the horizon. Gone by evening without rain. Well, maybe you should have killed a horse, fucker. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the real sacrifice. Well, you don't want a horse, so you have to sacrifice something valuable. Like that's, you have that's to sacrifice true. something that people actually care about, like sweet, sweet beef. You, yeah, you gotta you gotta kill the the calf because then the calf will give you milk and eggs. Rain. Okay, September 3rd. Rain. Sweet rain. It worked. No price is too high for survival. September 7th. The funeral was a nice little affair. 
Ooh. I like that. Yeah. He either killed uh, his wife or one of his fucking daughters. Yep. Oh, that's right. September 18th. One day of rain, isn't it? Uh, September 21st? Rain. I was shaking all night after. Shooting Ooh. all night long. So he's shaking all night because he had to do something fucked yeah, up. Yeah, he's, he's killed again. All right, September 27th. Rain. God forgive me. October 1st. Rain today. People are saying the town is cursed. I stopped going to the funerals. Ooh. I like this. I'm sorry, it's really fucking grabbing me. October 9th. Marlene found out. I don't know how. Maybe there was a reason we set aside our step periods and knives. It will rain tomorrow. Uh, credit to, to Void Swimmer for, uh, on Blog Leech. Bog Leech. Uh, so, yeah. Why do I Knights. remember the name? Why do I remember the name Bog Leech? Uh, someone who used to work with uh, Slime Beast. Okay, and they right, had a falling right. out. Yeah, I remember now. That was good. It was. Uh, that that yes. was. I, so here's the thing, though. When you have a short story like that, it it is in. It all comes down to the idea. Yeah. And this was a good idea. It wasn't like even too creative of an <laughs> idea. It was just well executed, quick, in and out, got done what it needed to be done. Yeah. Like I said, it was utilitarian. I can see this, you know, kind of a simple minded uh, hick farmer just needing some place to vent his frustrations there. Obviously, a anti horse individual. Yes. You know, good salt of the earth anti horse. Yeah, people. never had a horse in his life. Doesn't know anybody that had a horse. Real good. People. Never met a horse that he liked. Saw a horse gallop through town once, chased it right out. Yeah, I like that. that. I like that one. Yeah, it was, I, it, it's there's very little to say about it because it was just like boop boop, uh huh, and just dabs out. Yeah, and it's like yeah, hey, killed my family, got some rain, peace. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, just just so we're clear. Uh, any anyone who's like misinterpreting this, we were joking the entire time. We don't actually hate horses, or at least I don't. Oh, you're just gonna throw me under the bus like that, huh? I thought we were in this to fuck, in this together. Now all of a sudden you're reversing your fucking position. Leave I was only pre- I was only pretending to be anti-horse on the internet. You are a goddamn species traitor, Brandon Patrick. Why don't you go cozy up with Ann Coulter and Sarah and Jesse Parker? Get yourself a nice little fucking threesome. With a weird fucking horse face and her freakishly long bird arms. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? I'm not opposed to it. You're gonna consort with horse face and bird armed women? L- <laughs> Listen, I'll gonna build a nice horse. little nest? I'll try anything once, <laughs> and that means I will fuck any horse at least one time. <laughs> you sold me out, man. You sold me out. I bring you out here. I defied hallucinogenic desert cacti. We don't. I have a po- I have a ponytail. What, what, what did you think of? <laughs> what was going on? Now you get, you get that's how it goes right there, ladies and gentlemen. Go from having a ponytail to getting tail from a pony. You sick fuck. 